if you're wondering why is DC Traveler dressed up today? Well, this is how the people in the cold regions dress up for their evenings. At least those who know to dress well. So where are we going? The time right now is close to six. So guess where we're going? Mm -hmm. Touch the leg. You're right. We are going for dinner. And what do we plan to have for dinner? Do you want to guess again? You're right again. We will have Tibetan dinner. <laughs> so you're right twice in a row. You guys are awesome. On that note, hit that like button. Smash the subscribe button. And don't forget the beautiful bell icon. <laughs> that was random. Join me for another Tibetan dish. Let me have some. This is good. Do you want to buy this? It's not easy to sell. I can take a photo. If someone gets it, then you can tell me. I'm going now, so what can I say? Again, we are flaunting the Tibetan Yak 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 t-shirt. Which restaurant will be the best Tibetan restaurant? Tibetan restaurant. Mm -hmm. Do you miss the place? We miss the place and want to go back. So we're going to the main market square of McLeod Ganj and we're planning to go to the poshest looking restaurant which is right on the McLeod Ganj circle. <laughs> I've actually kept myself hungry by not having lunch to enjoy this dinner fully. Touch the leg. And you'll also see McLeod Ganj and the beautiful spectacular looking main square of McLeod Ganj market at night. It's full of lighting and pretty happening place from what I've seen on the vlogs, on other vlogs. But today is our third day and today for the first time after arriving here, we are going out in the evening and vlog McLeod Ganj market at night. Tibetan restaurants and Tibetan cafes, one after the other. It doesn't end. Even if I spend a month here, I can't cover them all. There are so many Tibetan cafes, so many Tibetan restaurants. <laughs> it's a heaven for us, for the people who like Tibetan food. Hello. <laughs> And now we are at this very busy main square of McLeod Ganj. If you don't come here, then you've not visited McLeod Ganj. So right now we don't plan to go up ahead because we've explored this market. If you want to see those vlogs, you can watch the earlier vlogs of Market Hunt. The restaurant that we're planning to go to is behind me. House of Tibet. This is the poshest looking restaurant that I've seen here. And today we'll have our dinner at this restaurant. House of Tibet? House of Tibet behind this building. Behind this building? Yeah. Okay. Where do we go from? Uh, right side. Right side. Thank you. Alright. So the entrance of the hotel of the restaurant Restaurants are called hotel in India, so you will hear that for uh, the restaurants. So let's look at the entrance for House of Tibet. This is the one. Let's see how this restaurant turns out and if we can find some new Tibetan dish today. Touch the lid. 
look at the restaurant here. There's no one right now because this is not a uh, tourism season because of the Rona. And also, this is not the best season to visit McLeod Ganj because it's rainy season here. Maybe that's the reason. Let's sit down um, here. Thank you. Let's keep this aside as usual and talk to them. Could Tibetan dish a chair recommend Karenge? Dinner Kibya. Dish Amarapa soup and dumpling. Soup and dumpling. Tibetan dishes kya hai or up the pass. Only soup and dumplings. So yeah, Tibetan restaurant, huh? We are selling only Tibetan soup and rice. Okay, nothing else. So this poshest looking Tibetan restaurant does not have anything apart from soup and dumplings. So unfortunately, we'll have to go to another restaurant. I'm sorry. No problem. Okay. So I know another Tibetan restaurant as well, which is right up this road. And this restaurant, this one, the one that we are going to now, was actually recommended by one of the Tibetan viewers and I was planning to go there tomorrow or the day after. But now, by chance, we will have to go there now. Let's do it. That restaurant was called House of Tibet and it was the best looking the poshest looking at the main market square so I'm surprised that they only have soup and dumpling but everything works out well so this restaurant is going to be better I'm sure about that it's called Kalimpong restaurant There's a table for us as well. Luckily, this table is vacant. So we'll sit down here. It's a really small restaurant, but heavily Tibetan themed. Let's see what they have now. I think we should sit down this side because the light is coming from there and we don't want to risk the lighting for this vlog. So this is how we will sit so that you can also see the beautiful Tibetan themed background here. Brother, do you have uh, fried tentuk? No? Then you have this tentuk with gravy. What you eating? What is it? Tentuk. Tentuk, right? Gravy wala tentuk. And what is it? What is it written here? Yes. I think out of these options, I will have tentu, chicken tentu. Okay. okay, so apparently this restaurant also does not have many options. There are so many options here. You can see momos, thukpa, tentuk, and mokthuk. Mokthuk we've had last in Bangalore in Momo Hut. It's been a while since we had tentuk. And tentuk is also actually a good item for dinner. So we'll have tentuk today. I anyways had to come to this restaurant for lunch or dinner because it was recommended by one of the Tibetan viewers. And I'm trying to cover as many cafes and restaurants as uh, are recommended by some of the some of you guys. And this is the view outside of the window. Nothing much to see here because some shops are closed. The market is more happening on that side. That's where we came from. And this is where the main circle is. That view looks pretty good. For oh, that view, yeah. Look at the view, guys. It's foggy, but still, even fog is beautiful. Everything here is beautiful. Everything about mountains is always beautiful. What's your name? Sheena. Sheena. My name is Darshan. Nice to meet you, Darshan. Nice to meet you. Darshan, we so you're having tentuk? 
you had it before? Not really, not yet. Um, but I feel like, do you? So you had moktuk. What's moktuk? Moktuk is uh, momos in soup. Oh, so dumpling. And we have our tentuk now. Look at this. Let's bring on your favorite moment. But today we are vlogging with the phone already. So the favorite moment will have to be this one. Let's see how this one performs. do it with this I know without looking at the footage it's not impressive so let's do it the usual way Now, let's dig it. It's a beautiful restaurant, isn't it? Even though they don't have a lot of variety right now, but the ambience. This is the most Tibetan looking restaurant that I've been to. Okay, let's start. The first bite. Mm. Is it tastier than the tentuk that we had in Bangalore? Wait for it. Let me have another nice bite. very hot mm. I want to say something Tibetan food is tasty everywhere no matter where you eat but there is something about Tibetan food in Dharamshala in this place it is tasty and no offense to the other restaurants that we've been to, those foods as well were tasty. But Dharamshala, McLeod Ganj, is Dharamshala. So there's a distinct taste here. It's it's more more uh, strong, I would say. The flavors, all the flavors. Mm. Okay, chicken here. Normally, I ask them to reduce the quantity for me because I'm after making all these food vlogs, I don't have much space in my stomach left. But as I said today, we've not had lunch because we wanted to go to the poshest Tibetan restaurant and have something next level. But instead, we're having something next level here the small but the most Tibetan theme the most Tibetan looking restaurant and the better thing here is there are people also I think that speaks to the, the quality that this restaurant provides as any other restaurant so the other one did not have anyone in that restaurant in fact now I know why so for those of you who are seeing Tentu for the first time, who have not followed my channel and uh, who are just stumbling upon this vlog Tentu is basically these flat noodles which are uh, thick thick like this flat noodles in soup with uh, all these green leaves and some tomato and of course the meat that's what Tentu means Thuk basically means soup so there's this dish called thukpa. In thukpa also, thuk stands for soup. 
and then there is this dish called uh, mokthuk mokthuk also so stands for soup mokthuk is basically momos in the soup thukpa is also noodles in the soup uh, round noodles kentuk as you see is this Sheena, do you know what a thumbnail is? Yes. Okay. I do. Okay. All right. So I'm going to request you to take a thumbnail for me. Sure. Can you take a good shot? Try this. With a good background. This seems like recording is on, right? Yep. Yeah. Keep it on video. That's fine. Cool. We've got a couple of options. Stop recording. No. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Take the best one. If you look at that thumbnail, you must watch that video. Any image that has no alcohol written in it is a little upsetting, no? तुम्हारे पीछे no alcohol लिखा हुआ है. ठीक है. यहाँ से ले लो. We're good. Good. Yeah. Thank you. Last bite. Mm. Still recording. And now, let's drink it. Ah, the super spicy soup. And this is how you finish a Tibetan dish. Now let's be up. I hope you enjoyed this one as well as much as any other. And we'll continue to explore more Tibetan food and many other things in Mekloid Ganj for two more days. Last look at the Kalimpong restaurant. Let's go. Oh, we're forgetting our jacket. Now we're going. Bye bye. What's your name, brother? Shring. Shring. Shring Dozi. Dozi Chen. Dozi Chen means thank you in Tibetan. Am I recording? Yeah. Now it's dark and we will look at how the McLeod Gun Square looks at this time of night. You can see the lights already, but it's not yet completely dark. But I think this is optimum because if it gets completely dark, then the video quality will be impacted. Look at the Tibetan kid here. Touch the link.